well, this is quite interesting. Leak specs put out for the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, and it's in the Titan X territory. This has been broken seven hours ago. Most of the leaks and speculation seem to correlate with most of the speculation that's gone on for the past shit since the 1080 dropped, actually, so we're looking around July. It's only a matter of time before NVIDIA rolls out the GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card. 1080 Ti, forgive me. Perhaps at CES in January 2017. This also goes in line with my own theory. Usually the TI version of a graphics card, usually the you know 980, 780, etc., comes out within six to nine months of its predecessor and after the Titan has dropped. So this seems to be all in cohesion with what I believe myself. The company boss, Jen Hassan Hong, I, I don't know his name, so I'm not even gonna bother bastardizing it anymore. Is scheduled to be the first keynote speaker. If so, that means it'll be an agonizing three months and a half before we learn what the GeForce GTX 1080 is rocking underneath the hood. At least officially. Unofficially, we might already know, thanks to a set of leaked specs making the rounds. A forum member at OC3D provided the site with purported details of the 1080 Ti. If the leaked specs turn out to be legit, it will provide a strong contender to the Titan X, from which it borrows the same GP102 GPU. According to the leak, the 1080 Ti will sport a 52 streamlined multiprocessor units, down from the Titan X's 56, 3,328 CUDA cores, not too far from the Titan X at 3,584, and considerably more than the GTX 1080 at 2,560. The GTX 1080 Ti is clocked faster than the Titan X, with base and boost clock speeds of 1,500 MHz and 1,623 MHz respectively compared to the Titan's 1417 MHz and 1531 MHz. It all translates to around 10.8 teraflops of computing power, just under the Titan X's 11. Where the Titan X still has significant advantage is in memory bandwidth. It has 12 GB of GDDR5X memory and a 384 megabit bus pushing 400 gigabytes, whereas the 1080 Ti is pushing 384 gigabits with the same amount of memory on the bus, uh, let's see, but using slower GDD of R5 chipset. Still, that's notably an improvement over the plain 1080, which uses 8 gigabytes of gddr 5 x memory on a 256 megabus. It seems odd that NVIDIA would swap the gddr 5 x for gddr 5 on the Ti when both cards above and below use the faster memory. That calls into question the validity of the leak. With GDDR5X, NVIDIA is risk, risking usurping the Titan X with a card that should end up costing less. By jacking up the clock speed compared to the Titan X, NVIDIA can find a happy medium between the two without cannibalizing sales of either. It's been speculated for months that NVIDIA would use the regular GDDR5 memory bus with the 1080 Ti. So this doesn't really surprise me, especially when it's supposed to be a Titan territory. It kind of makes sense. Had the 1080 Ti GDDR5X RAM, there'd be absolutely no reason to buy a Titan and absolutely no reason to touch a normal 1080. Hell, I honestly feel there's no reason to get a normal 1080 if the Ti actually does come out. I mean, really, there's just no point. <sighs> I would like to see GDDR5X on it, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. And most likely the 1080 Ti will drop in January or will be shown in January and maybe come out a month or two later knowing NVIDIA. But there's a strong chance that they're waiting for, to see Vega. Kind of like when Fury X and then boom, the 980 Ti came right out and took all the wind out of the Fury X's sails. I think that's going to be the case here, which on one hand, it's unfortunate because I kind of don't want to wait that long. And on the other hand, eh, fuck it, doesn't really bother me. I mean, frankly, looking at the specs of the 1080 Ti eh, and the Pascal card and the Pascal chipset, I don't even know if my 4790K would even be able to handle it in the sense of I really strongly believe a 4790K would be a huge bottleneck for a 1080 Ti at anything below 1440p and I still think even at 1440p my 4790k setup would be a bottleneck still it would be less of a bottleneck in 4k since the GPU does all the heavy lifting but who knows who knows who knows most likely I'm right there but what do you think what are you gonna do personally uh, if the Titan, I mean the 1080 Ti does come out, there's a strong possibility I'll probably get it because I really want to just keep 4k gaming 
without having to switch between monitors too often. I don't know about you, but I, I think uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading my computer just a little. Hopefully that 7700K drops soon. AMD Zen comes out within the next couple months and does something really impressive with 8 cores or at least 6, but okay, enough of this. Enough speculation. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel, and I'm going to fall on the floor.